Go. All right. Welcome to the OSRS podcast. We upload every Sunday, talk about RuneScape related news, bring on sexy content creators. I am one of your hosts, Mitt Metcalf, followed by Bodie. And What's up, Brad? Kappa. And Rice Cup. So, uh, Rixie's uh, a little busy with moving, but he'll be probably in, in, in uh, 40 minutes, so we maybe. Got a school picture of him. Yes, there. yeah. So, we have his like ancestral lineage picture here. <laughs> but yeah, today uh, we have Mr. Nuplet here, fellow content creator. Uh, would you like to introduce yourself or me? You know? Uh, you can do it. All right, yeah. So, he's my boy. He's been making a lot of Iron Man Prize videos on YouTube and he's been streaming, you know, his Nuble Dubo account. But he also mm -hmm. came from originally R Street content like myself, so it's really cool dynamic there. You don't really see many content creators that did any. He came from R Three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like me Nerds! too. Nerds. <laughs> <laughs> that was two against one. Yo, <laughs> oh, you know? dude, do you know cows drop air staffs in R Three? What's that's up with crazy. that? Yeah, Galvin's too. What's going too? on there, dude? That's where I draw the fucking line. That's all. <laughs> I don't think that's oh, the only not the problem. graphics or the promotional. <laughs> nah. No, farming cows, air staff. I logged out. Uh uh. uh, -uh. It's over. That's, yeah. Well, how do they even wield them in their ass? I don't. Bro, you know, but daily know. spins, man. Come on. Dude, that's the only thing I've ever wanted to win is a daily spin. Yeah. Never happened. Never happened, man. I mean, I, I won 200 mil and discarded it. Did you? Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> Why did you discard it? Back in 2015. Oh. It's good times. Oh, Yeah, man. you know, as as your typical uh, old school uh, viewer would say, that's like 2GP old school. Like, yeah, basically. Whatever. Damn. 2GP. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, that's true. But I'm like, actually, that's bad. like 1 in 7 conversion rate, so it's still a few mil. Oh, calm okay. down there, Oak mm -hmm. Dice. Calm down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what Oak Dice would say, huh? Wow. <laughs> that's Everyone compliment Rice Cup's cute little haircut, dude. He what? looks okay. Look at how sharp <laughs> he is, dude. Dude, this is my usual haircut. Seat. I just took on my wig, bro. bro. <laughs> nah, you looking sharp, bro. Like I said, a young Jackie Chan. Comment down below, guys. Oh, come One out on, of ten. Man. What Rice Cup? Look, looks man, like. I, I look like I came straight out of like you know middle school, going into looking high school, like a man. Cute purple saying. right now, boy. <laughs> you looking good. All right, get that. I need a haircut, man. Fuck, dude. I'm hiding this yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. You trimming your beard too? Nah, I'm growing it out all year. Oh all really? Holy shit. Yeah, Holy no crap. wonder for me. That's yeah. gonna be scary. I mean, oh, like you know, that's gonna be. Long. Every time I fly over to like events, I'm gonna get searched again. <laughs> oh, hey, dude, no. what's under your beard? <laughs> <laughs> no, they search down below, man. They oh down below. yeah, yeah. I've been <laughs> I've been padded like that before, man. It's not the most comfortable thing ever. I just whisper "daddy" and they stop, so it's fine. <laughs> oh, it's like. Mm. I was like, I'll see you tonight. <laughs> All right, you, you never go got now. a good search in your life, there, Nate. Yo, no, I got some hands. <laughs> Yo, I've Dude, I got uh, I got randomly selected in Iceland, and I couldn't understand the accent, and I almost missed my flight. <laughs> oh <laughs> my by the god! TSA, I had to go to like the other side of the airport. Like, pull down your trousers, you know? <laughs> Wait, is that Russian? <laughs> I, I don't know. Yeah, Russian, okay. No, I, I got a good one. All right, so a few years ago, in, in my college, we were going to um. Where are we going? But we're going out of state, right? And my dumb ass forgot my um, like my passport? like passport, oh, yeah. right? <laughs> so so state? I was like yeah. at the airport with those guys, and they all obviously had their shit, and I didn't, right? And like we're about to, we're trying to board and shit, and then and then it's like you you brought your passport, right? It's like wait, what you mean? Like do I need it? It's like, uh yeah, you do. But then you know what? I actually got in. I actually got into the flight without the passport. But you don't need a passport out I, of state. I, I think you do now. Out of country. Yeah, you do uh, though, because they're like, now, they're yeah. like, why don't you have? It? It's like, well, I totally forgot that you this thing was going I on. I went yeah. to Hawaii. I didn't even have my passport. It's like over the. No, ocean. but they they were so anal about it. Like, I, mean, I guess in mass, but they're they were no they they helped me up for like ten minutes, you know, to get like the right people and stuff. Like, you know what? Next, listen. Next time, please bring your passport. Like, on a on yeah. a scale of one to ten, how yeah. anal? I I, mean, I don't do. They were asking some like questions, like like where are you from? What are you? What's this? Like I'm like I live here. You know, let me get yeah, a new license, dude. You gotta yeah. watch out. Was, yeah, it's not it's not great. Yeah. All right, all right. Before we get into the polls, man, I gotta. This happened to me last night. I got him a clip. <laughs> okay. So slap that clip. Up yeah, here. we're oh, we're promoting Mitt Macau every every. Uh... <laughs> nah, dude, this is, this is great. <laughs> I know it's good. All right. All right, you all need right. the um, sound on for it. Oh uh, yeah, let me let me uh, share it real quick with you boys. Because I was doing some tele block, uh, tele hunter PKing for the first time. Because I got bored, and it just shows you your foes. So it just teleports you to random spots in the wilderness, and I didn't think this was a possible thing. Change to happen. window real quick. 
All right, give me a hot second. Uh, okay. All right, boys. This should work. So let's play it. Like my music. Come here, man. We're gonna get copyrighted. What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god, I and can't believe that. I do not have an agility <laughs> and I do not have a glory. <laughs> oh oh my god, god dude. I have a teleport. I... <laughs> <laughs> and then he got teleported. Help! Oh my god. Dude, help! Dude, no! <laughs> <laughs> what are you supposed what to the do? Hell? <laughs> yeah, you that's rescued by tier 10 and shit. No, that's an oh, oversight. <laughs> so, what happened? Oh. What ended up happening after no. the end of that? There was like four rag rangers on me, so I staffed the dead spec, which I don't think helps. I think that's for melee, but I was panicking, and uh, I was just kind of fighting back for a while. Well, uh, my team started logging in, just a couple people, and they focused them, and I got a log out, thankfully. Oh, oh okay. God. So so how did you manage to get out? out? I think I had a charge glory, actually. I'm not oh. sure. I think I had something, but if I didn't, then I would have just had to die. You know, yeah. was, okay, so you tell it out somehow. Okay. Yeah, I oh, that's, that's interesting though. That's a that's a cool strat. What if that guy did on purpose? He just knows that's <laughs> you know, can he's you just even, gonna get teleported. Can you even sit on the middle area? I, I've never done that agility thing, so Oh, no, you know, you know what, you're right. They, you can't just I don't sit think you there. Can. Yeah. You can't. So I like I, that's the only time I've ever seen someone. Yeah. You know. That that was oh basically God. a one in twenty five million chance. World's first. Yeah, world's first. <laughs> the world's first, man. Yeah. <laughs> you're the only person to have ever just gotten stuck there like that, probably. Oh man, and can you slap back to the webcams since we're not gonna listen to any more audio? Yeah, of course. Uh, so are we going on to the polls, Dane? Yeah, yeah. I haven't read them, so. Apparently they're spicy. Oh yeah, they're pretty oh, spicy. Oh, uh, for, it's got like a variety, you know, going off for everybody. So I guess we can. Uh... Wait, can we just uh, before we hit the polls? They actually did a little, little thing about the whole oh, crafting yeah. and the sand thing. Uh, you haven't played Iron Man in a bit, but you heard about the uh, sandstone stuff, right? That they were trying the to propose. Sand stuff. Like, like, you know how, like, people are doing seaweed and then they're filling yeah, buckets. Yeah, the big seaweed. Yeah, and then they're filling in buckets of sand so they can uh, super glass make. That's like oh, a pretty... I got 99. Yeah, it's like a pretty AFK method. Easy. Oh, yeah. yeah, no, I, I understand that, but what's going on with... Yeah, so, like, people... Sand. Well, not people. Jagex was actually, like, you know, they're... they're they're the daddies and they're like, you know what? I, I got something <laughs> for you, dude. I got this idea called sandstone mining for, for buckets of sand, right? So, like, oh. instead of having to you know fill buckets of sand you can actually mine sandstone and it would be like the equivalent of like was it six buckets of sand or something? uh it depended on the like weight oh yeah yeah but like Damn. i think the average one that you get you know yeah it was like six would be six nine right? or something yeah I so think the that best sounds one badass that's so like, so, big theory like to it was out of sand yeah the, the problem is like if it worked with the spell the way it's supposed to crafting would be like a million per hour even on a main account Oh my god. Yeah. Because Did that's how the spell works. It, it rolls on itself, so you get like way more glass. Okay, so they didn't so... think about that. That's why <laughs> uh, my friend brought it up to Ash and like they had they had a conversation on Twitter. So I wonder Some if like the J mods have like Iron Man, right? Because I could see him not getting PvP. Yeah, I think polls, but I think like Mod Ryan has But one. they're yeah. super yeah. casual yeah. though. So oh, they don't they don't like really they need really to hire know. Wooks. They need to hire some fucking people in there, dude. No more casuals, man. Kick them out. No, I'm just but, kidding. Don't hurt But me. basically, that work yeah. there, cows would be like the inferno. Yeah, oh, dude. <laughs> it works with that. Yeah, do like oh a training God. shield switch. Only the strongest bow. will survive after and mechanics to everything. <laughs> That's yeah. Scary. Yeah, but basically, if I'll it came out right. right the way it would, that that method for crafting would be the best method. For an Iron Man, it it would not only be the most chill and relaxing way to get 99 crafting, it would also be the fastest way to get mm -hmm. 99 crafting. So it's like basically Winter Todd, you know? So people get yeah. 99 on Winter Todd and then they get 99 fret crafting yeah, right after I get it. One and, mil an hour is insane. And I know it's not experience. like everyone's opinion, but I think crafting already is pretty easy. I know, so it's so I easy. I, I just so I just AFK some sand every night and I was getting yeah. like two thousand per hour like yeah. watching movies. Like, exactly, it's on a main, bro. it's a viable on a main. Yeah, you can yeah. literally <laughs> you can literally sit on that skill and just yeah watch some good. Imagine show. people getting two hundred mil. Like, that's insane. Two hundred yeah. mil being like a week. 
<laughs> and it's pretty obvious that it's passing, right? Because everyone's like, you know what, man? Anything can be passing. made. It's everything just, can be made easier. It benefits me, so let's get on with it, you know? Do I even want to play go. a game? I just want someone to do it for me, dude. That's why all these games <laughs> have cutscenes in them, yeah? Oh, yeah, and, and the video, skip bitch, option, the you know? The skip the option, dude. <laughs> oh, my God. Skip the cutscene, have fucking... game time gone. <laughs> It's great. Yeah, fucking, I like the cutscenes. I don't want to play, but I'm gonna skip the cutscenes so I yeah. play more. You know what? I actually wanted you know, to watch a movie, anyways. <laughs> fucking hell, dude! Every yeah, time. I heard Kingdom Hearts, uh, the new game, was like that, right? It's like a oh, lot of yeah. it was cutscenes. I heard it was. I was watching Donkey's video on it. Oh yeah, yeah, that big, guy's big great. Pile of shit. Apparently, I love Donkey. Yeah, definitely hit or miss. Mm -hmm. Hit or miss. All right, so so basically, <laughs> they decided to uh, change it. They decided not to go with that. Uh, because of Luckily. this, the first thing we'd like to say is that we're sorry. Because of our casualness, like we really yeah. looked past literally everything. <laughs> yeah, we didn't give enough time to process feedback regarding this change and pushed it to a poll prematurely. Ah, like many other polls. I understand. This has like left the us. Poll where you have to vote for chaps. <laughs> yeah, Great. this has left, left us in a position again, we've not been in before. One where we don't believe we should create something. I mean, honestly, kudos to them for actually admitting that, you know? And it has passed the polling process. Well, that in mind will not be cre always give creating kudos, the solution man. offered in give recent kudos. QOL. Yeah, no, I, I respect that though. You know, at least they admitted it. So that's cool. They're always, they're always doing something. That's why I respect it. Yeah, them and, and the thing is, is that. Is there casual though and it hurts? Yeah, yeah. Just... I, like, I like how they kind of um, basically <laughs> plan out the future rates if, you know, of how you would do it. Like, depending on how much effort you put it into the whole sand mining, it could be better than what we have. Because, like, yeah. charge ship is a bit better than the. You know the whole seaweed thing but it's so much more work though it's way more like clicking yeah. and hopping and shit but they they, they made it don't like yeah so at the best they said uh through tank manipulation a player 99 method mining <laughs> will be receiving competitive rates a little higher than char ships all right it's a little vague but cool. whatever like that's that. fine that's i think that's cool. okay I think, I think that's they just fine. have to go through the lunar spell. It's probably the biggest issue, right? Yeah, because this is pretty, you know, it makes more sense. You know, you don't have to hot worlds. It's not gimmicky like hopping. As long worlds. as they rework that lunar thing, I mean, I think they got a plan. Right? Yeah. I just hope they, uh, you know, flesh this out thoroughly. Like, like, actually test it. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. they, they should have, like, a little test server where they just try it out or have a few competent skillers you know, do what? it. Don't they have a RuneScape test server where they test that new updates, just like the PvP tournament worlds? I know. They should, I, they should, they should definitely do that. They really especially should. Like Every other game, to, even yeah, exactly. Games especially with shit. stuff like this, right? You can test it out. Literally, have five people that are pretty good at. We're you gonna know, get scaling. roasted for this, but take out world three forty five. Uh, what's three forty five? Is that the death, death, death mode world? <laughs> yeah, yeah death one of them dies. Okay. Yeah. Oh man, I'm gonna get so much hate. Seventy yeah, people right now. Fun. It's a community. We're having yeah. bitch. Wait, it was just a bunch of people in like a bank trying to trade boots. I mean, I'm sure they can just add a, a, their own private test world they want and just yeah, invite like ten true. players. Don't to hurt it. me, there, man. Yeah, just just invite like ten competent skillers. Have them go through everything because they th they think about all the variables that Jagger's private doesn't think about, right? So the thing is, players are always going to be faster than what they think. Yeah, exactly. Someone's, so someone's the, always going to do better than what they imagine. Yeah, so, so it's really, exactly. You, they you should, want the good skillers to test things out. Yeah, you, you want to really see what the maximum potential is, and then thought the, about this. Yeah, right. Yeah, so if you bring like really good skillers, they can they can test and show you what the ceiling is, mm -hmm. and then you can like uh, you know you can adjust accordingly after that. Because like obviously you're not going to expect everyone to get that right, but if it's like if what people get from the maximum is insane then probably we should pick it down a little bit, right? Yeah, you want to Type scale of... it based on, like, what's possible. Yeah, exactly. I think. Yeah. So, so like, if you're casual, you shouldn't expect the best rates anyway. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, true. But this would be the best way to test out any of the polls, though. Any yeah, polls, most, any of updates, most of them. Most of them. Like, even, even all the quality of life shit, like, because then you have the someone test stuff, it. right? All yeah, that they, shit, dude. Anything that changes every... the game like that, they can test it in a, in a Yeah, they could, they could just do a test server for every poll. Yeah, Most exactly. Seriously. Yeah, like all the polls combined, and you know, there's some like fatty nerds out there, like yeah. Oh, they'll they'll be baseball. more than down to do it. You know? you know? Oh yeah, they fucking yeah. love to. Play. I would. It'd be fun. Yeah, 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 totally. So I'm saying, like, content creators would testing. love that. You know, slap that Karasi in there. Let's give it a test. Oh, okay. Uh, no. Yeah. Karasi, there might be baby, one problem no. with content creators, but they should make it make them sign like a little deal. Like you can't talk about this. You know, you just you can test it for us, but that's it. You know, that's fine. I think that's cool too. You gotta live in uh, yeah. the UK to get some test privileges that's, that's all that's saying, all right because there's like 10 nah, all right bro i mean like I test some shit Where's yeah yeah i mean like you could bro? test it in game too but like obviously you can't leak it but yeah shit dude yeah i want, I want one of those runescape mouse pads dude yeah. i feel left out <laughs> i fucking bad i sold them at runefest 
<laughs> yeah, they did oh, actually. Oh, now I gotta buy them? Oh, now I would just fucking... Where's my free one, Yo, damn you're it? you're mint count, bro. <laughs> yeah, man. Come on. <laughs> Shall we get into the RC one if you want? Oh, they oh. Shall we get into the poll questions <laughs> now? Kidding. By the way. <laughs> uh yeah yeah sure. Yeah Yo, you should read it. You should read it. Oh, the okay, first one's for okay, you, um, dude. First one's for you. Should the wilderness ditch be replaced with a barrier that you do not have to click on? This barrier would require confirmation on a warning screen that you may cross to prevent luring. The warning screen may be toggled off via screen and subsequently re-enabled. Okay. If the barrier didn't look like trash, not a bad idea. It looks like a piece of shit now. Um, yeah, they said you do not have to click on. So I guess it's an invisible barrier where it's yeah, like kind of like the farming guild. Yeah. So like the moment you like get to it, it'll be like, "Are you sure? You stupid?" and stuff like that. You know? Because that'd be Basically. that'd be kind of nice. Because especially on dead man mode, you have those people who just jump up and down the fucking yeah. fucking thing, and you can't kill them, dude. This time yeah. you're just slaying them down to cheek town, dude. So <laughs> it, it would be. Be all right. I, I feel like they need to have a graphic though, at least. Definitely. Because, like, something. for someone completely new, yeah. like, I feel they, could, like they could definitely miss that. Like an energy barrier, screen. like a really light energy It's also barrier. nice to know, like, where yeah. exactly the line is. Yeah. Yeah. It's not exactly going to fix uh, the line. <laughs> it's not. It's no. not. But, but you it's think it's cool. Good? It's cool. Yeah, dude. I think it's cool, too. At all. Yeah. Because then like you have to. As long do as the... it looks cool, man. Yeah, as long as like red flames on that bitch, you know, like little flames to be valued. Oh, like kind of like a quest, if yeah. yeah, life flames, life flames, bro. Yeah, that'd be oh, nice. There we go, dude. Spell out Mad Cow when you go into it. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. The protector of the wilderness. <laughs> Mad <Mint> Cow. <laughs> like, you watch my new video, huh? Uh, oh, that's pretty good. Alright, anyways. Next one's for you too. I think this one's more PvP. Oh, okay, okay. Should oh, wait, actually, icons... never. Mind. Oh, you yeah. want to go? All right. Oh, no, you go, you go. No, I um, meant like my... spell icons increase in size when you <clears throat> have filters enabled to better fit the magic tab. The change would only affect non-PVP areas. Um, so just well, make a fat-ass tab. That'd be kind of nice if it doesn't affect PVP areas. You know, but just like a fat-ass We already voted PVP. on this. That's why it's confusing. Yeah, like... Right? But we just voted on I mean, it's a recently. rerun, yeah. yeah but, like, but we literally we had no? it. We, we just... We just it just said failed. no to it. Like, yeah, exactly. Like yeah, I would imagine ago. it would have failed. As long as it's not PvP, I, I didn't really. Yeah. I, I mean, to all. be fair, as long as it's optional, I think it should definitely be a toggle because I, I don't mean, want like a gigantic elk icon. All right. Yeah, like right? like I, don't want I honestly, with that, I, I wouldn't oh even God. want it because then it's like, all right, you don't want it to affect PvP, but why would you want it to affect PvM? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> there are some lazy ass <laughs> PvMers. That's like, everyone's lazy. Like, so shit, good for it. So we're gonna cater to oh, one man. specific group of lazy people, but not the PvP oh, lazy that's people. That's the future, man. It's now free to play, viable skins, and lazy ass fucks playing video games now. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm just gonna have to say no to that man. one personally. Yeah. yeah I, I like I like I, it. It doesn't affect PvP. I don't give a flying shit. So I'd vote yeah. yes if it was toggleable. That's all I care about. Mm. Yeah, it's definitely gonna be toggleable. I'd love to see a fat elk button though. That'd be hilarious. That'd be just yeah. the biggest fucking thing on the screen. It's just one item. Oh, so you man. can feel really bad when you misclick it. Uh, <laughs> boy, I ain't gonna misclick no it's fat. It's like the size of your inventory, and then you just like still misclick it. <laughs> like, guys, I don't know what's wrong with me now. It's like. Uh, How this would they one... implement that in PvP world? It's like they would just take off that option in PvP world. Yeah. Or... Yo, this third one is wild, dude. They're thinking uh, about introducing the vine, dude. What, yo? <laughs> I, I can't I don't know what I want on that one. I, I can't remember what the divine did. You guys Base, it was ridiculous. basically so, okay, guarantee well, tank. You go, you go new. You go new. Well so it says that you, you get a hundred percent chance to block thirty percent of the damage and then oh God. part of that damage gets drained by your prayer. The thing about that is you can store way more prayer in your inventory than food. So like it was the meta for pretty much any solo boss pre UC. That's disgusting. Um, the alley yeah, right now disgusting. is seventeen point five percent reduction for free, On but it's like inconsistent. Yeah. Divine would be thirty percent guaranteed. You just would need to bring prayer. So I don't know. Like you could go in the wilderness with that and probably never die. Also, like, if you go in max tank with an alley, you're already pretty much invincible anyway. All I'm saying is the black di thing is still a problem. They should not yeah. even once they fix black di. We'll talk about this fucking piece of shit. But until then. 
I, I was the guy at a code I won uh, Mage Cape plus two on Black Diad, and I, I missed 20 freezes in a row. It was impossible. <laughs> yeah, so like, land freezes Kodai, in the wild. Hey, Kodai won actually has like 27 magic defense, just saying. It's insane, dude. Yeah, it's huge. So, <laughs> well, you use it a court, right? Yeah, design, yeah. You, can't kill you know how many people can't. ask me that question? It's like, why do you wear a Kodai won at court? <laughs> I'm like, all magic weapons have magic defense. And they're like, what? Say yeah, that again? Um, I'm like, you heard me. <laughs> it's huge, man. I know. I'm like, even your regular battle staff's got magic defense. I mean, like that Kodai is like the same as an arcane. Yeah. Or it's sorry, the same. No, spectral defense. That's yeah, pretty much. <laughs> they really the magic system on this game, dude. I know it's yeah, hard it's to really balance, bad. But it's really it's, bad. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's, it's weird because it's like. Spellbook. Oh my god, the regular spellbook. I've. It's so inaccurate. I will yeah, fight people. Ancients get every perfect right, and I will only land half the freezes for no reason. It is yeah. so infuriating. Their oh magic, God, their do. magic level plays a defensive role. Their gear plays a defensive role. It's there's a lot of shit. <laughs> they they should make uh, regular magic like a ten percent more accuracy boost, and then black di they should nerf that a bit just to even out the balance. Because you got like forty fucking runes in your inventory. You got half spell cast. At, lo- at least fucking let me land a TB on a guy in full rune. You know what I'm saying? Just once. Mm-hmm. It is always like ten tries, eleven tries on a guy in full rune. In the wildy, I was counting, almost broke my keyboard. <laughs> 60 mage. I'm 99 mage. Yeah. That happened. <sighs> yeah, it is pretty nutty. It's hard to balance, though, because like, it's so different in PVM. No, I agree. Like, we don't have accuracy problems in PVM, so if you increase the accuracy, it'd be like, really weird. And they're but, trying to figure out how to do it. Like, here's the deal, though, right? They, they need to make the engine work so that it can distinguish between PVM yeah. and PVP, which should be pretty easy. Well, well different. I mean, like the fir- the last part is easy, right? But yeah. like designing the engine to differentiate is probably where like yeah. the, the issue lies. Here inside it's a huge job; it'd be possible, but well, he they said should, it's like, possible. at least like he he was saying like um he says possible. making gear have different stats in different areas is not possible right now. But it Maybe can be really possible. Hard. In the meantime, they should at least do little changes, like little fixes, yeah. like nerf de hide a bit. I mean, I wonder if they could just like be like, that. if you're in the wilderness, you have like. A base yeah. higher magic level, I guess they could do um, for accuracy. I guess. Yeah, they, there's. But ways then to I guess that would like boost up defense too. It's hard. just <clears throat> with it's ice barrage. I guess it's uh, it's pretty damn accurate. But on black diet, obviously not. But with regular magics, you well, will splash so many times on people with negative magic defense. It's ridiculous. So it they really could just buff is. normals because like no one. I uses mean, I mean like to be honest yeah, with I would you, be scared for fire surge rushers. But other than that, they should yeah. buff normals somewhat. Yeah, yeah because I mean, the, the thing, be here's the deal though the, the accuracy between ancients and non ancients doesn't change but the problem is is that ancients are clearly more broken because <clears throat> ice barrage 30 second freeze like what do you do <laughs> you know like right yeah you, no, you one out of five just, times oh, you land it it's still 30 it's seconds not different. it really does feel different yeah it feels different I because ancients are so much more op <laughs> you can do dirty damage and stack the guy for a 30 second freeze it's like what do you do you know Whereas, Whereas, like, what, happens is what do you the have? The higher your freedom? magic spell, the more yeah. accuracy you have, right? Yeah, is that yeah. How that works? Because yeah. entangled eighty, Raj ninety four. Well, so no, no, spell no those spells magic. themselves are no, doesn't have an accuracy change. But the you thing is, is that, that your right entangle now. is literally like fifteen seconds, right? Oh yeah, entangle. It's like trash. nothing. Yeah, it's so <laughs> shit. I don't even freeze. What I do is I just follow him with my mouse. You know. Yeah. It's, it's, it's like freezing and wastes too much ticks. Yeah, exactly. You're better off just like trying to fire away, surge the guy or something, right? But yeah, mm-hmm. but yeah, it's it's just a uh, normal spell book is pretty underwhelming compared to ancients, for sure. We need a mod for normal spell book. Just saying, J mod normal spells, get them in there. Yeah, what would you like to see them do for normal spells though, realistically? Well, obviously, you know, no magic prayer to half the entangled time. Oh, um, okay. Like so, you easy, fifteen easy, seconds. And more right? combined runes. More combined runes, dude. That's all they gotta do. Uh, maybe just have like um. A swap rune that you could use this rune or that rune right but one rune would be more expensive to use but it would take up a couple more rune spaces because but when i have tvs and i have uh all, all this stuff it takes up seven inventory slots and that's with mixed runes. that's the best i can do rune pack oh, would yeah? be five still yeah. fucked no that's you interesting though because like they could totally make a new niche of rewards for pk basically like the runes right that or they could just make like, raft runes be a place in right because it would, it would up the cost of raft runes not everyone would use it because they'd be super expensive i would fucking buy the shit out of them i mean yeah it, i think it would give some more um 
value to some some of the runes for right. sure yeah it just it, it's um <clears throat> there's a lot to be done yeah. right but it no one uses a regular spell book so no one cares yeah so it's hard to really fight an army on that yeah so those runes you're talking about like are you talking about where how many use like how how many runes would it be in one but like how like well okay so let's say entangle takes nature runes water runes whatever yeah. well instead of nature runes man you could have a place in you know so you use nature's or maybe you use raft runes dude so you can have fucking raft runes used for fire surge and then for entangle and you slight save a rune slot and it would just be a plug-in and it would use the same amount right it would just be a lot more expensive because oh so so just like a normal hybrid rune except you just combine those two it's just like you use either or you know yeah be like an or system right mm -hmm. yeah, yeah so it's like a dust rune where it's like if it touches if it uses air or earth well a dust rune means that it's like two runes the, the spell is what's going to be a dual capable not the rune you know so yeah, so you're saying that rune you have to like select it to be a certain thing like Boy, click on it to you be certain. solo in court man how do you not understand so, no, so i like, do understand but so like, like uh it, the spell when you look it at the list it would be like nature or wrath oh okay 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 so like they'd that probably be side by side it? no oh, no i thought you were talking about PK, like a rune that can no. switch between different things like you click on it it'll switch to a different thing i mean nah, you could, that'd spell. be confusing man yeah yeah no, no just a spell just a spell it could use different runes so you could have uh, like i said the best rune oh, right okay, now is like right. a raft rune if you just make that universal to most spells <laughs> in the spell book just to, just to make the price go up and for pk to just save inventory slots it'd be perfect yeah, yeah, would, yeah. Basically, <clears throat> peers would be risking more. You know, just, yeah, that's a random yeah, yeah. Ass idea. Sure. Like, I mean, Edge you can more. bring more more runes into the wilderness, more valuable ones, I guess. Exactly. That way. Yeah, they would go up in price. It'd be probably a lot more profitable to kill people. Yeah, towards yeah. Space. You could see the I only people the that really complain up. is the ones that get PK'd. You know, yeah. basically. <laughs> you know how many people oh, no. complain on my videos that they they never go in the wild. <laughs> They never do anything, but they complain because they think every kill that I find in the wild is fake. But they never go, so how would they know? It's the you know same I mean? five people that always like, yo, that's fake, man. That's fake. Yeah, it's like, bitch, you haven't even left the the Edgeville. You know what are you what are you talking about? You haven't even tried to peek. Yeah. How do you know what's out there? You know, you know what I've noticed though on the YouTube comments is that there's always like a few people that they think you think they hate you really badly, but in fact they just hate everybody on youtube <laughs> yep yep so they're exactly. literally going every about. single youtube channel that you remotely watch like if it's runescape right they'll go all go to all those channels and they'll always talk shit that's you know, how like, they're, they're, i've noticed that video. i've like, noticed a few people here? that are like that like it, it's, it's this, taking man. me a while to notice it right because like i'm not there like trying, trying to stop the guy but like you know i like to read through comments too right like yeah, it's I not mean, in my I videos yeah. I'll take criticism any day, dude, right? But there's some people out there just yeah, shitty. Yeah. And you know what I do? Okay, I'm not proud of this, and I wanted to keep it secret, but I'll see if they got any videos. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. And I'll like get into my Discord <laughs> and be like, all right, boy, this guy's a shithead. Let's let's hit it. And it just like all of a sudden their dislike part just like, Creepers. <laughs> Yo, you're a creeper, man. I, no, I don't do that. Okay, that's crazy. I, I've done it like two times because they're just shitty people. I'm like, hey, <laughs> bro, come on, man. You know, yeah. I go to their video. It's like uh, just the shittiest quality video no effort yeah, at all man. you know it's the worst thing you've ever seen in your life you're like yeah. how are you talking shit when you're trying to make fucking motion picture over here it's ugly <laughs> as hell <laughs> here's my minecraft tutorial <laughs> it's like i, I know a lot of those channels it's I like a guide on those. cutting trees or something you know it's like first oh you need God. your axe bitch like come on man you don't yeah i'd watch that <laughs> <laughs> you need your axe bitch. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Damn it. <laughs> Yeah, we got sidetracked a lot though. I like yeah. how we went all through that. Yeah, we were talking about the vine, and then all of a sudden we went to peking. I don't. Oh yeah, it's yeah, too it, strong, yeah. Right? It's, it's it is strong. very strong. It is very strong. Some what, people... What's your opinion on it, Ree? I mean, now that you, I mean, you've done a lot of court. Yeah. So here's the dealio. A lot of people say that it's not that broken because uh, stuff like revalidate, uh, not revalidations. Um, the you know like prayer enhance right like in 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 game prayer enhance not the ones in raids but the ones you can use anywhere mm -hmm. oh, i forgot what they're called right but prayer renewals prayer right renewals? Yeah. yeah prayer renewals and uh beast of burdens that will hold your prayer pots they said that because we don't have those this thing is not that broken but i really disagree because of the fact that you know as you've said you can get more hp out of your prayer pots than you can out of regular food right mm -hmm. for the most part 
So that that already makes it pretty much an easy choice to bring in a lot of situations where you might tank. Like I would use that shit at Armado. Any tanking situation, I would use it. Right. Like the, the thing about tanking. it is like it's because it's guaranteed. You know you're gonna yeah. get the re reduction yeah, if you're exactly. using Ellie. It's a yeah. Good chance, but you know you can't rely on it necessarily. Like I can partly agree that without Beast of Burden and uh, Prayer Renewals, the Ellie, I mean Ellie, the, the the Vine isn't as broken as it used to be. But that doesn't mean that it's not broken as it is. Couldn't right? it tank an Inferno hit? Uh, yes. well, the well, boss can hit like two fifty. Oh, okay. Oh, it's two fifty five, I believe. Yeah, so yes. Yeah, some hits it can tank more. Well, it can help you survive more. Yeah, you'd have okay. a thirty percent higher chance of taking a hit. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Some hits right. you, you I think can they probably. What I would think is they should just disable it in the inferno. Mm. Yeah, so, like, I mean, you, honestly, you they were inferno would be an easier enough. All yeah, yeah. All you do is just tank that shit. Yes, already would be too good. Dude, all you do is just this year is you take that shit. You don't even need to learn how to perf like. You know what I'm saying? I'm not opposed to the run. Just take it. Yeah. Yeah. Only real G's should have it. I don't even have one. Only real G's should have an but, Inferno kit. But anyways, right? So so let's say it's not as overpowered as it was before, which is true because we don't have all mm -hmm. those things. But but the base, like its base use is strong, right? It's still really good. I would still use it without yeah, all the pre-renewals. Uh, but, yeah, but, but like say it comes into the game, right? And then later on they decide to add more things like prayer renewals and like, you know, th things like Beast of Burn that will hold more prayer. So then we just get back to the same problem. That the divine is super broken, right? Just because you don't have it now, as it is, doesn't mean that you know when you have it, and then later on they won't add something to make it stronger, right? That's the case all the time. Like everyone's like, oh yeah, as it is, it's okay. Like for any item, right? But then you start stacking more things together in the future, and it becomes an actual big problem, right? Because yeah, it's like because it's like blowpipe, right? It's like oh, blowpipe isn't that OP. And then Rigor comes out. It's like, oh shit! Now it's so OP. Now it's even more OP, <laughs> right? Because I disagree. Blowpipe has always been OP. It's just that Rigor made it stronger, right? Made it even yeah. more OP, right? So it's the same logic. It's like the same with the Twisted Bow, right? Twisted Bow by itself, I still say it's OP, right? But like you add Rigor, even more OP. It's like same thing. It just complements each other. So, it's the only item that's held at one bill value. Yeah. So. Oh shit! Is the boy here? <laughs> Yo, there goes the yo. Camera. It's the boy. Don't fuck everything. Up, it's all good, dude. It's all good. I got it. I got it, dude. I got uh, it. Hello, I'm sorry for being. <laughs> Hi, I'm Midnight Cow. Hey, yo, I'm fine with all. Oh wait, what play. the heck? I need to fix this. Hey, now we're combined, dude. I'm sorry. There, you go. there you go. Thank you. Guys. Wait, wait, what? It was working. <laughs> Is my webcam even working? No, dude. We can recall if you want. We can slap the Bodhi thing on you if you want again. We yeah, you. we can recall if you want. Let me just fix this real quick. Mitt's a little scuffed, you know, we need we need to make him nice. There you go. Oh, uh, you want to recall like real you, quick, man. so that way, uh, you know, we can get him in. Okay, Actually, yeah, I'll leave a sec. I need to set this up, because it's not even coming up on mine for some reason. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, uh, racy has been moving and stuff. You know, life's changing for this guy. So, yeah. yeah. I just moved all my Pokemon cards in, man. Oh, yeah, tell, tell us about your moving, dude. Right. Let, well, let's fix my uh, my fucking webcam first. I'll be back in two secs. I'm okay. It's working. All right. Oh god, hey. it's messed up again. Don't worry. Hey. I got this. I got this. Bodhi's back. Bodhi's back. Hey. All right. This is mighty fine. He's back. He's back. Yeah. Uh, right. Is that working? Nah. I I I don't see you. Probably the server. Oh my days. I mean, probably you restart though. the call. Yeah. What if we just restart the call? Yeah, where we start the call? I think I'm we sorry should. Sorry about be this, okay. boys. Alright. Oh, good. I'll leave and then come back. Like, we all should right. all leave Goodnight. and come back. Yeah. Okay, I'm in. And now I just need. <clears throat> oh my god. <laughs> it didn't even, like, end the call for me. <laughs> really? Uh... <laughs> yeah, I was still in here. <laughs> Okay, yeah. This is the first time we've had a had our boy just you know come in, in the middle, but he's he's had a lot of stuff going on with moving, so as expected, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I was just saying that that's pretty much it on the Ellie. Not not much else. Like, oh, it's good. You got it. There you go. Oh my nice. god! What's going on there? Wait, you hey, you weren't Bodie the whole time. <laughs> it was you, Rixie. That was that was it. I, okay. By the way, like we're in a a bit of a transitional. Days right now we got Mac are you in the top area yo are you in mars right now dude dude i i'm <laughs> thinking about doing like a house tour or something because this house is like it's just like loads to it but no i'm oh, on the ground yeah, floor dude. right now i'm on the ground floor so, yeah. i thought that was the roof 
Dang, nah. we're gonna miss the yeah, there's loads of shit thing. around me. We're, we're getting revolved with that. It's, there's a lot of shit in this room clogged up, so yeah. But it looks really... nice, though. It looks good. So far. <laughs> no, Smash it is, man. On. It's really nice. I'm very tempted to do a um, like a house tour or something. I don't know if that's cringe for 2019. No, no, but... make sure you edit the, uh, you know, my, Welcome to My Cribs song and stuff. Please do. <laughs> yeah. Please do. Yeah, man. It'd be my, my streaming room. I'll be like, this is where the magic happens. <laughs> <laughs> this I, might just pay, I might pay some prostitutes <laughs> to just sit in my room for a bit while we do my bedroom tour. Dude, just yeah. like um, a parking <laughs> meter did. He had a girl do twerking every time he got a kill. Oh, man. Oh, really? Yeah, I did. I did that was, um, that was, I didn't see any twerking though. I was trying to find the um, Someone linked the time and I'm like, oh, okay, I guess I'll check it. Oh, she's just full on ass twerking. I'm like, oh, oh, okay. I, I literally skimmed the entire video to see her ass and uh, I didn't see it once. So let me find Yeah, you're uh, looking at the comments, dude. Oh, cut, now you're looking it up. Now you're looking it up. Oh, now it's not. Yeah, now we're going to look this up. Dirty bastard. Hold up. This will be the I clickbait thumbnail. I don't think it's a huh? bad idea. I just feel like his reactions were a little weird. He's like, "Yeah, I like that shit. Do it more." I'm like, "What the? <laughs> don't someone say just, that." Just someone put twelve oh six. You're welcome. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Oh man. She's hot, but yeah, that's. Yeah, I'm not that impressed. Not gonna lie. Oh yeah, okay, Racy's not that impressed. <laughs> Hello. By the way, this is Nubla. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. You can call me Yo, Tyler if you want. How's it going, man? How you doing? It's going pretty good. Good stuff. Pretty good. Right. Uh, what, are we, what are we talking about? We're, we're talking about the polls, and we just got to the Rice's Ellie picture. talk. Can you see Rice's picture? Yeah, you need to share. Oh, I need so to share it again because I yeah, uh, yeah. it was off. Yeah. Either. Oh, anyways, like uh, so we are uh, we're talking about the polls. We just finished the Ellie one. You want? You have an opinion? I mean, on the divine. I keep saying Ellie. I don't know why. Yeah. So they're talking about bringing the divine in, right? They're. Polling. Yeah, yeah like, for like the four times. How many times have they polled this? This is like the like four times. Like two or three, time. I think. Uh, third, the yeah, three have a crush time. on the divine. Like, why is he trying to push it so hard? It's from just what the, the mods don't want the divine. At least from what I've seen. I think oh, Sweet doesn't. Who's asking but... for it? Who the fuck's asking? No one's asking I, for it. I don't know. Yeah, dude. Nobody even like brought <laughs> it up. Standards at GE, maybe. <laughs> I like, like to look pretty. Like what the Like hell? which which one of these mods decided like you know what? Let's re-pull the vibe for the fourth time. Let's get it. You know like. Is it is it passing? I. But it's not I, up on pull yet. Yeah. But, oh, okay. Uh, okay. I, this I, is I the next one. I I personally I. Actually, no, I'm not even going to say anything. No, I need to give it more full. We got, we got full fucking Justicar. Like, do we really need to have no. that? That'd be, what, 45? Or... No, that would be... The yeah, that would be 43 to 45. That's like half damage absorbed. That's like... Stupid. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's stupid. <laughs> yeah. You need harder bosses know. for this shit. It doesn't even make sense. You know? Yeah, it's insane. I think if it gets reduced to like 25%, then it's pretty close to the Ellie. Because yeah. the problem pre uc is the Ellie was just useless. Compared to the divine, yeah, they that's why the divine was a bill and the Ellie was three hundred. Make it two-handed. What they could do is they could make it so there's like a cap to the amount of uh, percentage that can yeah. be uh, reduced. It's like I don't know, forty seems way too high. Thirty seems reasonable, but then that's what the divine gives anyways. Maybe make it thirty-five. I I don't know. I need to give it more thought. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I, we were talking earlier. They should have like test worlds for these polls. Yeah. It'd be perfect with the divine. We could to actually. To be honest, I just said no because yeah. it's too strong as it is. But like, like, how, is already very how strong. easy would it be if there was just a test where you could test every new update and say, yeah, that's really fucked. That should not come into the game, right? How good Even the smallest of polls. I mean, at least... Every they, other game has one. Every no, at least they should update. have test worlds yeah. where the J mods can do everything they need to and they inv they can invite certain players to test. Mm -hmm. I guess inviting could be good for the first one. Yeah, because days, if you like, do it too to publicly... The public would be the best. Yeah, like depending on the update, right? If it's like something that yeah, might definitely. hamper the economy in some way, private, hamper? privately, you know, word? privately, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, privately, <laughs> right? If it's like something, I don't know, really simple, like a skilling, uh, just just like anybody can interact just for XP or something, they can like test it out, maybe, I don't know. Yeah, I it's don't just... know, I think Divine and Old School is too OP. It With, is, like, yeah, personally. Outfit, like the items that we have already, I just think it'd be OP. Yeah. And like it's kind of insulting, really, because why don't we just get like actual fresh content instead of recycled RuneScape free stuff? It's just RuneScape free. You're right, you're like, right. Why, why can't they just like they could just take a wacky idea like some sort of sigil, which effectively combines all three of the sigils we already have, and then make like the Omega shields. I don't know. Like <laughs> I, I'm not saying that's a good idea, but that sounds like Megatron, stuff, dude. You know? Fuck. 
That's That'd be really ridiculous. Strong. Those songs like Transformers oh season cool, two, though. well, but they can transform. How, how big huh. would the shield be? Just like half the player's size or something? Just no, it would be an igloo. The size of the head to toe, head to toe. Bro, it would be an igloo. It would <laughs> be, be like be a board. Any major one range attacks, he just shields it up, hundred percent protection. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was thinking uh, igloo. You know, just cover your entire. You know. <laughs> oh man, you just gotta build it before. Yeah, <laughs> yeah just Fortnite it up. Yo, just build, add some build. Some head in there, dude. We're fine with that. We already got the dancing emotes. I mean, we're halfway there, right? Yeah. Wait, I saw this one. I don't know if it's on the screen. I saw one on Twitter that Frame Shame shared. Oh, it that one is at the bottom. Clicking the spec, the spec mm -hmm. orb. Yeah, it's the bottom. I'll show one. you. Yeah, here it is. Oh, for fuck's sake! Please yeah. stop making PKing easier. For man, they fuck's pull in sake. dumb stuff, dude. Hey, man, I've been saying that for Skelly and PVMing the whole time. Made my account. Where yeah, were you? I agree. <laughs> I agree, dude. I'm with no, you all the way, but take, don't touch PKing, bitch. Fix it. Don't they want it for it, mobile. It. it makes sense for mobile, but like, it doesn't make sense at all. Yeah, just make this a mobile only thing. I mean, if you can, oh, yeah, if you can PK can mobile, easily make it mobile only. Game. Like that if you can PK on a phone, somewhere. like you're a god. Okay, let let it, you it have makes, that shit. It makes sense to be on a phone. But yeah, like, mobile but... updates won't affect desktop game, bitch. We're in next week is gonna be in the game. Yeah, they always say that. You know, they always say that. But then they'll be like, oh, but people said they want it in the PC, so we're gonna move it over there. You know how clean it looks when you just five way switch into your fucking prayers and hit that spec right clean in one tick, dude. If I have to click a fucking orb, I'm not PKing anymore, dude. <laughs> makes it look shitty. I want to feel like Wooks when I'm PKing, man. Well, well I mean, it, it, it doesn't work in PvP, according yeah. to the question. But... Yeah, yeah, it says it's not PvP. And also, oh, is, it, shit. is it just like Sorry, a... Uh, is it just like an alternative? Like, you can still go yeah. to the spec bar if you want. Yeah, yeah but still, right. it's like, like it's, it's, it just makes PvP I, I wouldn't easier. mind. I just can't wait until what when I'm streaming, someone's going to be like, why aren't you clicking the orb? Okay, yeah, this is uh, for mobile. Yeah, I agree. Non-PvP areas, that would be good. What? I thought it was Yo, man, come on, man. I, I can't believe you support that. Mobile. No, no, if I don't. If it's on yeah. mobile and you're trying to boss. I'm okay, sure mobile's okay. Your... Mobile's fine. Yeah, not, PC. Not the game, There's no reason to put it in the game. There's yeah, no, PC. No reason to make it easier. Mobile, yeah. yes. There's yeah, no mobile, problem. yes. PC, no. That That's it for me. Exactly. Okay, no, I changed my mind then. But seriously, I thought it was for PvP. I was about to start panicking, man. Thank God yeah. they have some sort of, like, limit, you know? They know not I... to fuck with it. I don't really have an issue with it actually on second faults because it's actually smaller than the spec bar anyways. It's just yeah. a more convenient place to get to, but I'm sure people would misclick that a fair bit maybe. If it was in PvP, definitely. Maybe not so much PvP. I feel like it's like less useful on desktop because you can well, just scroll your mouse down to click it. Yeah. True, but F keys are kind of like uh, the way of the road, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it's the yeah, one that, skill in mm -hmm. RuneScape where yeah. you kind of have to work on it, so. I mean, why are they even polling this? We've already got third party clients that just spec for us, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> that can predict your prayer, your opponent's we prayers. We need to look at the RuneLight polls, dude. They got those polls out <laughs> yet? Where are the RuneLight polls, huh? Yeah, yeah, that's the official game poll we're talking yeah, about. Yeah, where are the real polls, man? Yeah. Yeah. Garbage. Yeah, these, no, man. These are just like recycle shit, you know? This is some old shit right here, man. Yo, this this, this is the most important question of them all, okay? This is the most important question. I mean, I agree on that, dude. Armor looks so bad on female characters 90% of the time. Yeah, they look, it, it just <laughs> looks like an oversized like chicken head. <laughs> Yo, noob, you got a female avatar you guys want to talk no, I mean, about? Oh, yeah, he does. My women are always female, and my mains are, main, are male. Just so Why I can see that? the differences. But... Hey man, okay. Bro, I'm I'm wrong with that, sure. Dude. sure thing. <laughs> I sure thing. Dude. I like my character to look pretty. Oh, I like slim. You know what I'm saying? I like the I like the armor head to look big on my girlfriend. Are you behind the knee of hentai? Is that what we're listening oh, to? God. Oh god! Oh my god! Is there a connection? I'm more about Lady uh, Verzag. Oh, oh fuck thack, me, dude. You know, all, all about that lady for You know, <laughs> she's too much woman for me, man. I need a pillow under my yeah, back. She's too there. much loving for you. You know. <laughs> Every time she walks, her cheeks clap, dude. I'm good. Oh, God. <laughs> oh boy. <clears throat> she is a big girl, man. She's yeah. a big girl. She, no, Please she's, tell me there's not a big lady. You know what they lady. say, dude? Big girls need love, too, man. Yeah. You know. Do you have enough Take love for, the for team, her? Right? Real question, Get in there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, Dragon Defender, more pink. I mean, more pimping, I guess. More pimp. I, I don't see a difference. I don't really care. I don't care about that. the Dragon like why, why you even put this on a pole, pink? please? Why would it be pink? It's dragon. Yeah. Oh, okay. Dragon. The the hilt does kind of look red. pink. Yeah, it looks pink but... right now, but I I think the Ruinshake Free one was really pink, but the old school one isn't that bad. Yeah, I think it looks great, but if they think 
it's not it's pink I, like I no nobody oh, yeah, wears... if you compare it to like a dragon axe it is yeah. kind of pink yeah like to be honest man once you put on that drown defender you can't even see that shit half the time so like yeah, honestly like... why is this even pulled you know why, why are you staring oh, at where was where was the pull for the lumbridge bar huh i heard that yeah. <laughs> that's oh, yeah, they removed the bios and uh Draenor. Yeah, like this, like this one too. Why is this even pull? Just get rid of the guy. Just get rid of Hades. Because yeah. they can't be going around Lumbridge and yeah. Draenor messing up our childhood, dude. I know. That's just just we... get rid of this guy, bro. He's like a punk, dude. He's a bully, man. Right. You Wait, can just get out of Lumbridge and you like see this dude with like 500 bill, like you know, gear. Oh, and, like, what the fuck? Yeah, seriously, <laughs> that that makes it feel weird, actually. I know. It's, it doesn't make sense. Because everyone thinks like if, if you're a new mobile player, you you log in and you see this dude with like some crazy it's ass. Like a private like, server. Yeah. yeah, it's like a private server. And you're like, yo, is this guy rich? He's gonna give me money. But no, it's just some stupid NPC that you know, it's just nothing. It doesn't do anything except for. I, I can get those diaries. That's about it. That's about it. I can yeah. understand the creativity. Like all the JMods want to make this game amazing, but they really gotta stop touching it. Yeah, they missed the hatest one though. They missed that one big time. Yeah, just make Gee have it, you know? Make make one of the yeah. regular old school NPCs. Even yeah. Hans is better. Even like tutorial. Hans is fine, yeah. Hans, I think Hans has Hans. too many options already, though. But... Yeah, uh, what's the Lumbridge guy one, too? Uh, any of those guys is good. They can you... just do the Duke in Lumbridge. Yeah, yeah, Duke, the, the Duke, the Fred the Farmer. Oh, right. Like, what up? Fred the Farmer, man, you know? Those are all great choices. Yeah, the only yeah. rich dude that should be around that area is the old man. You know what I'm saying? Why is yeah. the old man? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. What they should money. initially done was like they get five options and then have people fall on it, like of the original NPCs that are there, and then boom, whoever gets the most vote just becomes like the lumber yeah. guy. The, yeah. The as long as it's not a writing, dude. All the writings, you know. Have you seen those writings uh, where they write in like a certain name for an animal that just got born at the zoo? And it's like uh, you got. Oh well, yeah, no, no. We're only let them, letting them choose existing <laughs> guys, you know, that are in the in the lumberage. Honestly, even a goblin I, would be better than that guy. I swear, like all of these questions, I've seen them all before. What's going on? These yeah, are these are rerun ones. Yeah. Oh, I, I was gonna say, I was like, I've seen all of yeah. these questions before. Mm -hmm. Some of them, like we literally pulled like this year. I feel like. Yeah. Yeah. But this, yeah, this the increased spell size one. We we literally talked about this some podcast ago. So, yeah. Yeah. Oh, did you hear about the Wilderness Ditch, Rexy? They might remove no, it for... No, like, I saw okay. someone on Twitter tell me. They're going right to get rid of this. Right there. So, oh, yeah, yes. they're going to make it for oh. a toggleable thing. Yeah. It's going to look really clean, I think. I hope Maybe so. Flames. Be nice if they had a picture, you know, but... That's... Yeah. Oh, dude, t make it old school. I love that. Yes, please. Right? It's yeah, going to probably work like the Farming Guild. I just would like to have some sort of graphic for like if you're a new player, you might yeah, have like some sort of like uh, yeah. some Where sort of like uh, lights, you know, like the yeah, thing. like like yeah. a I mean, there's already a room like, like plugin to show when the yeah. wildy is there, so you know that, that's like, amazing. Yeah, like, plugins, no, <laughs> dude. What if the whole big divide between PVMers and skillers and PVP is like it, it's a physical ditch? That is Man. the difference between PVMers, skillers, and PVMers. Ah, take away that yeah. ditch. Uh, uh, take the ditch away. It's and symbolic. They're just going to be like, we're all the same. We're all on the same line. Get rid of the ditch. Hashtag deep. Destroy great movement. Destroy the wall, dude. Get rid of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Actually. I love that. Yes, please. Please yeah. remove Please remove the ditch. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I think we're all that, on board for that. that. That's the best question I've ever seen polled. Oh, oh my god. If that passes, I'll be so happy. Yeah. That's actually amazing. There's well, some we pretty much wrapped up on this. questions in here, man. A lot of random shit. Yeah. Oh my god. Well, fuck, dude. Uh, did we go through all of them already? Well, yeah. I mean, there's not one in many. So. Oh, okay. I thought there was gonna be more. Yeah, we ripped that shit. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, sands, man. That's all I see on Twitter is fucking sand. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sand, really yeah. Overpowered. Yeah. We are. We talked about that one right off the bat, but uh. So, what's some other? Recent happenings this week other than the PKing mishaps dude. That's all I've been focusing on You know just a will these kind of dry as hell black chin suck uh, You yeah. go to BH to do the teleporting you teleport into maces you know? How do you have fun in this game anymore? You know yeah Fuck. Oh, I, I have uh, a good topic since new blitz here, you know, so so new blitz He's made a lot of uh, our street content in the past like I did so we mm -hmm. can definitely talk about some of the you know, it's it's a pretty, I would say it's a pretty not a not a debate, but it's like a commonly asked question is like when people compare R three to old school, but like, let let's just stick to Iron Man mode just because I I remember last you know that's where you last stop on R three right was your Iron Man yeah I maxed my Iron Man yeah we, over there. so like how is 
in terms of you know the overall fun of archery i'm in like compared to old school i would say because do you, do you think you you play more archery i'm in though at, at the moment still compared to old no school? i i quit when i uh switched over i thought i was Damn. gonna play but... yeah yeah like, so, I'm not, like i'm not saying like now but i'm saying when you did play the archery i'm in was it oh the... i had a ton of fun it's definitely not the same level of fun i'm having now but um, i think the lot of the problem with the archery i Man is like we have dailies in this game, but like in RS3 to be efficient, or at least to keep up, you need to do like four hours of dailies. Yeah, I was gonna ask, is it just dailies? It's so many dailies. And then dailies. the I, they've been working on it. <laughs> like dailies have been getting better. And uh, the problem with the RS3 Iron Man, at least when I play it, is that they would have an event going on. They do a lot of events in RS3, and then if you didn't do it, you'd be missing out. Because I got like eighty nine hundred for free. I got like. 80 agility for free, 80 mining for free, like everything for free. It seems for like Iron Man, they let Iron Man do it. So right. like Game Three is not Iron turning Man into a game anymore. At right? that time, you'd be yeah, like yeah. really behind. Mm -hmm. And like the meta for construction early game for an R R3 Iron Man is wait until summer and do construction at the summer event, like every year. So oh, like God. like in this in old school, <laughs> I can I can hop on and I can do my goals at any time on RS3. I have to plan it out based on when things are happening. Yeah, you feel like you have to plan it out. It's because they, they do a lot more events. That's the main difference that I've noticed between the games is that RS3 is very event driven. Old school is just, I guess, content, you know? But... If we were to compare RS3 to like a store, maybe Kohl's. Kohl's always has those big bash sales, right? <laughs> Every yeah, you get people in, you know? Week. Yeah, because no one. Do you think that if they stopped doing events, daily XP, stuff like that, people wouldn't play RS3 anymore? It's um... gotten to the point where they just wouldn't play anymore. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how positive the the events actually are. I mean, they took away the spins, the I mean, keys, the dailies. Who yeah, I mean, it's, money it's, wise, they're they're good on it. I just don't know about the player. Yeah, like to be honest, I didn't I didn't think about like the daily, uh, not the daily events, but like more like the holiday events. I really forgot how actually like crazy of an influence it had to you know how you decided you know your your there's, gaming. There's player. I mean, like, like something going on. Yeah, like uh, because when the... I first started playing the uh, RS3 Iron Man, <laughs> December 2016, they had a Christmas event. Um, where afterwards you could train range, magic, melee, and construction. AFK, five minute AFK. And I got 60 of each for free in like a week of doing oh, it like no. an hour a day. For free. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. For free out of Iron Man. I'm because, like, all right. <laughs> because I remember how I would do like, you know, two plus hours of days a day. But yeah, I totally forgot about the holiday events too. Because like, yeah. oh, yeah, I mean, they, I really they go hard with that. Yeah, I won't. I won't say I didn't like it because I mean I. Yeah, what were some of the to max really it, good? Uh, what were some of the really like enjoyable parts of the uh, R Street Iron? Um, I mean, I always like Barrows, and I went super dry at Barrows. It took me yeah. like six hundred and fifty chests to finish one set. Uh -huh. Oh uh, man. I don't know if you saw it on Twitter, Rice, but I'm like, oh, like my Barrows luck right now. Yeah, no, you so you told 22 me twenty two out of twenty four <laughs> right now. Yeah, five hundred yeah. chests. Yeah, it's, it's, it's completely, completely different. opposite. But um, R S three's PVM is pretty fun, I think. A lot of the time, I don't like the combat system too much anymore, but um, I guess skilling is a lot more interactive a lot of the time. Dude, but what, it's just what, way too fast, I think. It's just when, Re, when Re just asked you what, what was your favorite thing about RuneScape 3, if you said clicking the logout button, mate, I don't you know what <laughs> I mean, no, that, that would have been good, but I don't even log in. So. Yeah, yeah, but. <laughs> That's amazing. But how long have you played RuneScape for, New Blood? Like, did you play the old uh, game or? 2006, I think. Ah, okay. My, so, my cousin was like, yo, kill this rat started. for me. When and I was like, like I, I got this. Birthday in 2006, I'm like, I have to play this. Okay, yeah. so I've, I've been actively playing since like 2008, 2007. Did you and continue I, when the Evolution of Combat came out? Or like kind when of. Old so like, was released? when uh, I was, okay. So back before, right when EUC was coming out, I would, I just did Dungeoneering every day. Yeah. for like a year it was my favorite piece too. of content and then euc kind of ruined it for me there was like no mechanics anymore you could like two shot every boss yeah um and so i i quit for a couple months and then when old school was announced i played it so i got 99 farming like in the first couple months i think it was top page as far as my nice. favorite skill and then and then my friend was like yo you want to duo bandos on rs3 i'm like all right whatever and then i kind of got back into the game so and then I started making videos and whatnot on RS3. Okay. And I've always followed old school. I, I really enjoyed old school. I just didn't want to switch because I had like my base on RS3, you know? That's like the story yeah. for everyone. I don't want to start over. It's so fun, though. Yeah, no, like I was I so excited to do it, but like I didn't want to just like abandon the 
RS3, you know, like all my viewers are RS3 and stuff. The, I think RS3 yeah. is really hard to quit because of all of the events and the daily. Well, yeah, that's like, how they... But see, right. it's a... It's... It keeps you playing, I mean... <laughs> let me tell you something. what else would you play for? Like, it's Yo, like a mobile game, right? Let me, let me like tell you something. A lot of the time, that system is really a double-edged sword because... It really is. Because here's, here's the deal. A game where you, you play for the content and not for the events is a much more... Uh, and I, I would say longer lasting game than mm. than a game where you only log in for the events because all when you log in for the events it's really a stress ball right because you feel like you're missing out so much every time you miss an event but you know you can't keep doing it all the time because there's so many really? right it's, it's like, like a double experience weekends yeah yeah exactly every so because like I'm gonna bring back a game that I used to play and it kind of died like it's called Maple, Maple Story, Story? Right? Maple Story, hey! right? So, oh, so that, that game, I would say it's, it was probably for a point at, at some point in time, maybe like 2008 or something. It was, I would say, even more popular than RuneScape. Like for for like a split for like a solid year or two, it was like immensely popular. It was insane. And Did they do the but what happened? What ended up happening was though is that I, I guess corporate got way too. Uh, you know, way way too in the faces of the developers, and they shoved in so much like uh, MTX, right? They they shoved in so many uh, updates that were borderline basically asking you to buy, or and and at some point it just kind of like forced people like out of out of like the fun out of it, right? It's because because you were just basically spending money just to get stronger, right? Instead of just enjoying hey, the grind, well, mm-hmm. and then and then people started like you know started dying off, right? And then because it was starting to die off, I guess. I never really put the two together, but you know, but like now I think about it, I'm like, so all of these events that they keep pushing out, because like every year after that, the events would get like more variety and just more often, right? So like every week, every two weeks, there would always be an event where the rewards you get from it is insane. It's like, if you don't do it, you were stupid. You were missing out on so many good upgrades and shit. But like it, it's just uh, you get it gets to a point where you're just fed up though, cause you're like I don't even want to do this anymore. I don't want to log in every single month, you know, just to do some stupid event, cause I know the rewards are so broken. And it and it's, it just gets crazy and crazier every time. But like and, and like, but it doesn't bring me back though, you know. At some point, it just I just stops caring. You just Man, yeah. yeah, dude. You know that a game is dying and you get yeah. rewarded for logging in every day. I'll just say that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's what that's what I'm like, I mean, that, sim- that's very simplistically true. put in. So yeah, that kind of like ties it in. Like I feel like yeah. if the game, like if R three were to prosper again, they, I mean, there's a lot of things that need to be done. But but I, I would feel like one of them would probably be not not just like removing all these like event stuff, but like you know bring it back to how it really is supposed to be, right? Like if it's a holiday event, you just do it for the holiday, like the cosmetic, yeah, yeah, for the cosmetic. That's all. That's they, as good as the it thing needs is, to. they like when they make an event or make really any piece of content, they like focus on the reward too much. So then, like, it gets yeah. people to play it for only the reward, not yeah. For, like, and then once they get it, they're like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Agreed, it. man. Yeah. Like, like if they want someone to do it, they'll just give you an XP lamp. Yeah, not like, not, not to say old school doesn't do that, but like well, a little bit. R S three, I feel like does it for every nah, little thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and well, also, time, and also, when you do events too often, right, it becomes dull because like events are supposed to come after a long while, right? Because it's supposed mm-hmm. to feel special. But if you're doing an event every single month or whatever, you're, yeah, I you're think just it's like every two or three, probably. But yeah, and then you're just like, much. yeah, you just like you you know that by the time you finish this one, you invested all this time to like do these dailies and stuff, right? And then like right around the corner, there's another event. You're like, woo. I gotta do it again, you know? Let's go back in, like, shit. And then they do, like, at least two DXPs a year, double XP weekends. Yeah. So, like, it's like, if you're two months away from the double XP, it's like, I don't want to train Herbal I'll just wait. Yeah, because, I, like, I remember when double XP first worth. came out, it was like, once a year. Even. And that was, like, crazy, yeah, was right? Because, like, literally, if you knew that was coming out two months in advance, you still you already be planning it. But, like, two, two a year is insane, because then you already, basically half the year, you're planning double XP. <laughs> yeah, it's Basically. just kind of kind of annoying. If you're a main at kind of least, Iron Man yeah. can't. Get, yeah, Iron Man can't. So that was great. That's why I enjoy R three. That was great because I don't yeah. like DXP that much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, uh, yeah, for R three, for me, on my from my point of view, like, yeah, the dailies definitely got a little bit too overwhelming after a while. But like, I do you, remember like Sandstone and Vizwag. Yeah, and yeah. That. Like those were actually kind of fun for a bit, but for only bit. because <laughs> I wasn't maxed, right? But the moment yeah. you max, and it didn't take too long, right? Because of that, all that stuff, it didn't take too long. But, but the moment like you, you did max, in like a year, right? Yeah, exactly. The moment you max, however, 
the the drive is gone you know like the drive isn't really there anymore like max actually leveling up an archery i mean was one of the most enjoyable things so there's no end game after the end game no there, there is a lot of end game yeah post -max. there's it's a lot of end game but but like it, well, it, it's it, just dailies though yeah but it's more um, fun though when you're maxing correct, and you're yeah. actually leveling up though right but yeah it's like if you only have pvm but you don't have anything to level up then it's actually not as fun even though I'm, I'm more PVM or base, but yeah, I felt yeah. I felt like it was too fast actually for how much AFK and not honestly not that much effort I put into it. I still maxed right, so I feel like there's they not, could. There's not a lot of effort at yeah, all. Yeah, I feel like they definitely need to bring back some effort with with how leveling goes. Although you, you can't, you know, it's gonna be hard because then people are gonna complain. Oh, you're well, making things know. harder. I mean, I that's don't good. Think they can. Really? I think they have a base just like Coles. If they go no more yeah. sales, dude, they're going out of business. It's kind yeah, of, uh, I, yeah, it's like they have raised people's yeah the thing psychology. is they need to they need yeah. to cater to the people that already play like if they yeah. fix the game it's not like we're gonna go back yeah I yeah no, i know that leave, you know what i mean i know that so but it, it basically basically what i'm saying is you know have they not have gone that route of you know just oh of course just they run constantly... it like a korean mmo you know what a korean MMO? yeah is. i played i, I played, played a lot maple store is korean MMO, pretty but much it was the they best came out, the like time. the korean gaming market came out with these events to drive players to play their game and uh they kind of like normalized it. like when pokemon came into the u.s they'd have like events where you can get like pokemon you know just so more people buy the game play the game get involved with it runescape's taking over the mentality where you don't want to play the game you want to play the events you know what I mean? Yeah, you don't want to play yeah. this shit. You want to come for the double XP. I mean, even with Twitch Prime, right? Old school RuneScape gave you membership. Membership only. What did RuneScape free give you? Like a fucking woodcutting set, a pet, some XP, a couple yeah. lamps, some key masters, a couple spins. Oh, and membership, right? It's you, so much. Yeah. It's to the point where it's not a game. It's just like, oh, you log in, you get a reward. You don't really play. You just... Yeah. Yeah, yeah but uh, yeah, the, 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 there's a lot of like, you know... Uh, things that that's involved with um how it all came about but a lot of it was just catering to to too much of the casual crowd you know what i'm saying well i think they just had a player base and then um once they started going with eoc the ball just kept rolling to make it easier and easier and easier yeah yeah they know no. that what was taken over the market back and they were like world of warcraft all these korean mmos are like we need the copy I mean, stuff. like so honestly, I mean, even even be, even before EOC, though. However, it was already dramatically easier than it was two years. Oh, before exactly. That, it right? was evolving. Yeah. So, it so it's just it's just player. that the the whole dynamic of like hard work equals amazing reward got shifted, like yeah, backwards. Where it was more about like get things done quicker, so you can get to your destination quicker. And Wait, to be I mean, honest, that was bad, right? It kind of makes sense though, because. MMOs, like obviously, even the internet is fairly fucking new. So they were trying to evolve in this drastically changing market of gaming, right? And they didn't know what they were... Like, they made a mudscape, right? It was like some point-to-click shit, and they evolved it into this beautiful you game know, now today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they're just trying to keep it alive. So yeah. I kind of see where they're coming from. Because yeah. at a standpoint, they didn't know what was going to happen in the future. So it's yeah. Kind of so yeah. another way to put it up, is that Jagex... Fucking slapped. Yeah, another way to put it maybe is that Jagex thought that if they made the game easier, they would bring more people, but in reality, that's actually the opposite. Right? Yeah, yeah. it caters to the casual player that is not gonna be playing. Yeah, exactly. They'll here. they'll be the quickest one to leave the game anyways. <laughs> the one so you're actually like, satisfied oh, like the Candy wrong crowd. Crush. Let me just switch games. I, yeah. I think a factor that we've left out as well is that yeah. when the Gower brothers sold Jagex. Mm. Now I don't know if any of you guys saw uh, a video recently. I think it might have been last Runefest. They interviewed one of the Gower brothers, and he was I, I met, like borderline. <laughs> he was borderline in tears about selling that company and how RuneScape Free just is what it is now. Yeah. And obviously, it, it was a Chinese mining company that bought RuneScape. And like I, I can see that planned out so easily. Company that knows nothing about video games. Well, hold on. Video hold on, games make a lot of money. Let's just flood it in microtransactions. Can I, milk can I interject everything. real quick? He, wait, was he in tears though? I just gotta, can, can I he, interject well, he real quick? He looks really sad. But. Yeah. I just gotta say, for all those RuneScape three players, man, the guy who originally created <laughs> your game is now sad at what it's become. You have nothing to stand <laughs> on, man. Yeah, I, yeah. I, but... I couldn't believe it actually made it onto the video. I was like, do the Chinese like owners do they not care? Yeah. Or so, so, so here, watched? here's. Here's something you, you, you missed out. So the Chinese company <laughs> that bought RuneScape wasn't the one that wasn't the first one. The, okay. the investors that bought RuneScape like many, many, many years ago, because like he sold the company 
way back, like like five plus years back. Yeah, he sold it, I think, in like 2007 or something. Yeah, he sold it a long time ago. And the company that bought it wasn't actually the Chinese mining company. The Chinese mining company acquired RuneScape like a few years ago. So the one I that think actually they were out already. yeah. So the one that actually bought RuneScape like really early on and and actually ran it to the ground, you could say, was actually the company, the same company that bought MapleStory. Oh re- wait, really? Yeah. It w- was actually the uh, same company. Yeah, yeah. It was the same. It, those that that shitty investment company, like you know, they bought those no games way. and they yeah, yeah. They oh, introduced God, a I, shit I ton of pay to win. Yeah. So so That's you can cool. sell that whoever. You know what I mean that that company is. All they care about is liquidate the game and then leave. That's all they do, you know? So Yeah. Yeah. And, and it then, sucks, dude. Yeah, they destroy people's sucks. lives and childhoods, man. Yeah. And old school right now is And I'm, I'm, I mean I'm surprised that RuneScape still no. managed to like fucking, you know, come out of the, the freaking hellhole I, that I was. I still think it's funny though that the original creator of the game is not yeah. proud of what it is today. Oh I hell yeah. I mean I mean if you, you know. just those who play RuneScape Free know hey you enjoy the game, you enjoy the game, but you gotta know that's what you're playing now it's a corrupt government thing that just gets you to do your dailies there's nothing in it there's, there's some in it but i mean just even from the original creator standpoint he's not happy where the game is right now that just makes you think like what yeah. happened yeah yeah it's crazy. Like you you gotta think he like they created it, it was two brothers right the gara brothers they yeah. made it in their mum's basement you don't get more nerdy than that and this was at a time when Amazon gaming story. was like gaming was very small at that point i'm sure if you were a gamer back in that that era like you were just seen as a real fucking weird dude for playing video Dungeons games and now it's like yeah. only half the time now it's only yeah. half the time now, now it's acceptable everybody plays games back then man they were probably looked at as like some weirdos you know what <laughs> yep. i mean and they that. created this this was their life this was their baby they fucking made this with hard graft and then it just got filled with microtransactions and it is where it is now like that's yeah. devastating it is know? Yeah, I just yeah. never Matt, thought he felt that way. That. That's really cool to know that he is not happy with the way the game turned out. Dude, I, 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 I want to watch the clip. I want to see the clip so bad. We, I, I, yeah, I mean, you can find is. it, <laughs> you know. But yeah, uh, he, he just, documentary. he looks so sad about it. Like, he, he's talking, he doesn't sound happy whatsoever. And he said his biggest regret was, um, it was something along the lines of, like, selling the company. Like, that was his I swear I've seen it, I just didn't pay attention. What are, are we talking about, like, the documentary? documentary? I think so. I mean, it yeah, may, like, for sure. I'm, I'm sure he regretted it to an extent because, honestly, the leadership that came after him and, like, you know, the investment decisions that the investors probably, you know, brought about for the game was actually... It's, it's I remember really him bad. saying, like, uh, at yeah. least on that documentary, that he sold it because he didn't want the responsibility, but he still wanted the, the control. But you can't have control without yeah the responsibility. I mean, the game blew up. I can't blame him, right? Yeah, because like, I mean, he's a game developer, you know. He's not. Yeah, like, like, he's he's been making. He doesn't he's like been, the business uh, stuff. As he's as been trying to make his uh, another game. Maybe, so, but... if he never sold it, he could have been the notch of fucking point and clicks, dude. Yeah. I mean, he's still like one of the richest in the UK. I'm pretty sure. I know, but he doesn't have any control. Uh, I bet he doesn't yeah. have any control though. No. Anymore. I mean, he gets yeah. a good. He could buy it again. But... <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he hey. wants to. <laughs> At the end of the day, man, someone nice. who spent years and years in their mother's basement yeah. making a game. I don't think money was his priority in no. any any sense. I, I like, yeah, it's great to have money, but I'm sure. I mean, like, he's well off. That it's if, not. I like, bet yeah. he could if he could redo the decision, right? Because yeah. at that point in time, money is definitely hard to turn down in the heat of the moment, right? Especially like if any of you guys are offered a shit ton of money for something really. I mean, I think he's just like something you're tired of. I think it's just like the stress, you know. Money, like yeah, he wanted to release money, himself dude. of the you stress. Think twice. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's like. Yeah. I don't know. Getting offered like a couple hundred k for like your YouTube channel would be like, how do you resist? But at the same time, <laughs> actually, no, it's completely different because I just yeah. make a new YouTube channel. Like, yeah. <laughs> but no. It, hey it's, guys, it's welcome different... to my YouTube compilation highlights <laughs> you channel. Hear that, you guys, break these channels on the market. All right, I'm buying a house, so I need some people to pitch in here. I've got kids to raise, you know. I, I gotta. To, I had to sell my YouTube to pay the rent, boys. Well, there we got That'd be a great video, video by the way. The new OSRS moments, and they want to throw some gambling sites in there. We're yeah. Money back. In two years Dude, yo should we talk about that topic about? yes 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 i saw that on twitter he was yo, like victory. He's not making money or something right victory you know boys who fucking who man? i'm victory. so annoyed because <laughs> there are people defending osr's moments uh. right he could still upload content. He's just not yes. making money. Hey, what's 100%. wrong with that? I watched it showed his uh, true intentions. Yo, man. yo, you so know, exactly, Rixie. You know what it is? The only video I watched was the one that he said that 
Oh, due to Article, what was it? Six? 13. Six, 13. 13. Due to yeah, Article 13, uh, because of that, this, uh, my channel is now demonetized. Bullshit. You got copyright strike three times, motherfucker. That's what happened, dude. Yeah. That's exactly what happened. But what annoys me on Twitter, I'm yeah. not going to say any names, but people yeah. are like, oh, dude, I feel bad for this guy. Like, content creators, man. It's like, oh, dude, I'd start, I'd start a Patreon for this guy. Dude, he could still make videos, man. He made more than yeah. us combined in a couple years. He's got that shit saved. Yeah. If he's passionate about any of this shit, he has a channel to grow on. Who knows how many subs are on there? Yeah. Dude, he, he has still over... still making income. Right? He has sub. 100k subs. There's no yeah. doubt in my mind. Yeah. So he's got like triple if not no, possible just, the amount of Yeah, things. exactly. I just, I just right? hate yeah, the I, fact that he's lying, right? He's using he's the Article 13. Like, if Article 13 actually impacted you, it would have impacted Rexy, too. It would have impacted I, every I, I'm single just one. I'm just praying, man. I just moved <clears> out, dude. If that happened. Exactly. But oh, like, yeah, man. If so, someone demonetized my channel, I would still yeah. upload. That's the thing, man. He, yeah. he, it just annoys me. It just yeah, no, because it, like, like, he's, he's, he's pretending that, oh, I'm doing, I was doing it for you guys. It's no. a really good passion of mine. No. Yeah, you probably had a little fun making content. a lot of money off of other people's clips. Yeah. I'm sure that was fun, right? I could, right. I could yeah. make his clips in two hours now. You go to Bodhi's channel, download yeah. a couple of his catchphrases, go to Paul's channel, download a couple of those, go to the Q&A, get a couple of clips from there, download them all, slap them in, minimal yeah. editing, I'm pretty sure there's, there's an even easier way than that. You just go to Twitch, RuneScape category, yeah, top, and look yeah, at top clips. clips. Top, it's top even clips. easier than that, man. You can buy, all the, you can buy the 10 clips, render it, call it a day, oh, add a few regardless subtitles. Regardless of the yeah. outcome of uh, Arts Moments, I think it's the perfect opportunity for, like, Jagex should get into that. They should. They should hire yeah. someone full-time to do the same thing he's doing. On their old-school RuneScape channel. Thing is, Ad-free, the and then creators could, though. like, sign up and be like, yeah, you can use my clip. And then the thing about Arts Moments... As bad as it is, it was very good. Um, yeah, no, it served it was, it was good advertisement for the game. It was really good for people that don't have time for Twitch to keep yep. up on the yeah. current events. I mean, that's how I kept up. As much yep. as I didn't like that. That's mm -hmm. what I'm saying. You can still upload. So, like, if, if not it, Jagex is such a good position, they could totally start something like that. They yeah. should. They yeah, that's could. fine. They can just yeah. have a they thing where sure. I could sign up and be like, yeah, you can use my clip no matter what. I mean, minus the copyright stuff. It, for yeah, the music, I'd be down but... for that, but I, it depends how they do it because there's a lot of favoritism that goes behind yes, it. Yes, that's, that's a lot of I was awesome talking about this on my stream. Creators. That's And it's always because of the favoritism on JMods because they're cool, but they favor a lot of, they'll shout their channels out, they'll blow their YouTubes up. Mm -hmm. There's so much content out there. There should not be favoritism. Yeah, like there. no matter what you do on that, people are going to be like, why didn't you include this guy? Why didn't you include me? So well, that'd be a problem, but I think it's it, not hard to tell, but it's very yeah. easy to tell, though. If it yeah. was hard to tell, like, hey, you know, they're not really doing. No, it's fucking borderline the easiest shit to tell, and it annoys me. Yeah, people. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, obviously, even for the RuneScape Mode channel, the favoritism came to the bigger shit. I mean, it was right? basically that's what, that's why I hate Yeah, it was always, it was Bodhi, Bodhi like, 70% of the time in the thumbnail, and 30% everybody else, right? So, yeah. so it's like, he's, he's just the clip. I mean, uh, sure, whatever. But, but, like, the main thing with RuneScape Moments. You know, you, you brought up the points that, yes, it did help people that didn't have time to catch up, you know, to catch up, right? 100% understandable, but as much as, you know, you personally get that enjoyment, right? The fact that this man had the balls to steal every content mm -hmm. creator's clips and monetize it six ads mm -hmm. in one yeah, video. It was like 10 ads, man. Okay, six, ten ads in one video. And also claim so the dumb. fact that so he was doing it for you when in fact he was a hundred percent not doing it for you. No, he's not at all. No, if he was and doing if, it for you, he'd continue to do it whether he's making money or not. It's as simple and if you as want to that. keep up the date, there's Q and A's, dude. Yeah. RuneScape no, has like, Q and A videos. Like, you can't keep They're up nice. with like the yeah. creators though. Yeah, yeah. What actually dude, frustrates what? me the most on. is that this talking. person, yeah. Yeah, it's that is that this person is actually getting sympathy for using you to make money. For real. And it's yeah. fucking obnoxious. I mean, yeah, I'm like this man straight up lied to you. He used Article 13 as a front yeah. to hide is his there, is it, is marks. Is there any proof, though, that that isn't the case? But, like, there's no way it is the case because Article 13 hasn't inf affected anybody yet. We, we know who actually owns the channel. We spoke about it. I can't remember who told us, right? He lives in America anyways. So why would, it, why would Article 13 affect a dude that lives in America? Yeah, I mean, it I'm hasn't, it it hasn't it even affected anybody yet. You know, it hasn't even happened yeah. yet. I don't, I don't, I don't he, get it. Look, there's, here's the there's deal. two sides. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. There, there are two sides to every story. Yeah. And I can understand why some content creators are, like, upset and give them sympathy. Because, like, I can name them off my head. 
uh, Skidler, AOA Tube, and like a few others like that. Sorry, I can't mention everyone. It's because like, it was the freest advertise. No, no hate yeah. on those guys. Yeah. Like, that's no, all no, they did was advertise the AOA gold. Yeah. yeah, it's no hate at all. No hate, YouTube, but that's dude. what they did. It was just free advertising. <laughs> I know why they're mad, but yeah. But like the thing is, they don't make YouTube videos, so you know it was really yeah, no, good advertising yeah, understandable. for them. But then there's people like me who I make all of my money off of YouTube. So when he takes like me getting a twisted bow in a fucking week long series, it's taking me a month to do, and then my views are halved because everyone knows what I get. It fucks you, you yeah, know. Yeah. But there are two sides to every story. It is. I don't know is. if it's true about the Article 13. It's uh, definitely not true, though. 100% is, is not Article true. 13 even going to affect America? I feel, thought it was just like Europe. No, it's Europe. But I the mean, thing it, is, it isn't okay. even happening. It'll have it's, effects, but not yeah. directly. Yeah, it's, it's not. It's not ha it hasn't even happened yet. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or else sure you guys would be after, facing it. You guys would be after facing it. that conversation America. we had, I'm fairly certain that um, the dude lives in America. I mean, anyways. whether he's so, in America or not, it's, it hasn't funny. taken place. It just hasn't happened yet. The, like, <laughs> that whole law is still, you know... Yeah, it's still in the voting stage. Yeah, it's still in the voting stage. So he first lied. of all, he clearly lied to you guys. He 100% yeah. lied to you guys. All right. So you shouldn't really feel sympathetic towards him. You may, maybe towards the service that you provide. But this man himself he clearly lied. lied to you. And there's ways to make money on YouTube without doing that. He could probably yeah. get sponsored by Ironside or literally yeah. anything that makes some sort of money. Even a chewing fucking gum company like that one <sighs> sponsor. <laughs> Any Dude. of this shit's possible for him, but no, he wants the 20 ads per video. He wants to make a nice fucking living off other people's content. That's why he's bitching. You yeah. can still yeah. like, have I, a great opportunity before you, and you're just not like, taking it. There's, there's a difference between actual community channels like uh, Chris Archie Prods and like Spark Mad Live. All right, here's they the difference. Off, they don't reach these guys. Videos, they get, ad, yes, exactly. They get so permission. Vision. They actually edit their videos and add commentary. And they actually they promote shit. the people the right way. Yeah. Like, surely I mean, he's making money off of you, but at the same time, it's respectable. He treats the clips the right way. He gets your permission, right? Yeah, he delivers yeah, a new video with a video over ten minutes nice edits. on one of those channels. You know yeah. what I mean? They just don't even have double ad revenue, skippable. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. minimal shit. There he is. Like that was I fine. Know. I I I love that. I love that. It's just like you know, it's hard because. Obviously, they have they don't have time probably, but it, at the end of the day, though, you know, like yeah. I I just I, I it's just obnoxious <clears throat> when this man is playing with your feelings, you know, pretending that he was doing it for you guys, but yeah. in reality, he, he was, was probably trying to find not. any entrance in into the sixty k a year thing again. So. Yeah, <laughs> he's trying. How do I open up this? Can I get a Patreon? Can I get like a Snapchat yeah. premium? How do I make more money? Like he's just trying to find a way to keep it going, and I don't blame him for that, but. Definitely, like, do it the right way though, you know? Get people's yeah. permission if you're gonna do another one of these type of video, you know, like channels or whatever. He still has an opportunity to do things. It just oh, he could me. do so much. Like, right. I don't really I don't really have too much sympathy for him just because I've actually had a message from him. Um, it was, it was that Twisted Bow clip and I put yeah. out a status on my YouTube and it was basically just like, I, I was schooling these channels that were like basically jeopardizing everybody's fucking like income and stuff and i actually read through it the other day because I, I just skimmed it the first time and i reread it and it was pretty much him saying i have full rights to do as i please as soon as you stream on twitch that content is no longer yours and i can do what i want with it and i reread it the other day and i was just like shit yeah this guy has the balls to say that dude yeah, yeah he, she he had the balls. Said, he said, like, the law allows me to do this. Like, you have no claim to Yeah, which is why you have three copyright strikes on your channel. Yeah, we need, like, a solo mission <laughs> meme video of him getting his channel ripped. That'd be yeah. sweet. I'm Actually, I think it's two copyright strikes. Do you get demonetized? Is it two? Uh, or is it three? Well, I mean, he, YouTube just removed him from the par partner program. So I don't yeah. even know what that means. It, it, I mean, he like, can't he YouTube can't YouTube manually monetize. removed it. Yeah, I you can't monetize. I think it's because of all the music in his videos, honestly. I don't think YouTube gives a shit. Well, like, uh, so, so Nublet, they changed it so that if you want to get monetization, you have to be partnered now. Yes. yes. So so they removed that so you can't monetize. Yeah, he just now. lost partnership, yeah. so he can't yeah. make money. So I I'm think YouTube can still run ads, but... A lot of content yeah. creators were gunning after that person just for the pure yeah. fact of that shit yeah he was lying yeah. just the fact that he was trying to say oh I mean, yes yeah it wasn't because yeah. i got copyright straighted it's because of like yeah 13 it's just, like, you're, no, you're completely right ray because that the yeah. article 13 hasn't even like it hasn't happened. even happened well, i think it's passed but it's not happened yet. it hasn't yeah, exactly it hasn't even taken place yet the amount of people yeah. defending him and the amount of actual great content creators out there not talking about any of us i don't want to say yeah. anyone's dick defend here, the service really that it provided right content which can easily yeah 
Sorry, go ahead. And it annoys me yeah. that they're trying to defend this guy who doesn't really make anything of his own. He's just stealing other people's hard work. It's fucking obnoxious, dude. Yeah. So here's the deal. Like, you can, you can defend the service that he revealed to you guys was actually invaluable, which is the fact that, you know, compiling everyday happenings, you know, weekly basis happenings of the RuneScape community, right? But that can be done from anybody, really, right? Why would you use, why, like, don't defend the person, right? Defend that piece of service. Anybody can do that service. So if Jagus does that service, it's, it's even more credible because it's there, it's there. Everything that we play, everything that we make for videos for RuneScape is theirs anyways, right? They can yeah. do it. They have full rights, right? They'll probably still get copyright strikes on YouTube. It's, it'll be hilarious. It's, it's like, what is it? We own the game, but nah, either way. They, right. they wouldn't monetize it. If they yeah, did exactly. It, they yeah, they, yeah, that's what I mean. Like, it's, it's it would be more best interest, honestly. Yeah, exactly. To do that. Because, right. like, one person could do that if it's full-time, right? Yeah. I don't know how much they'd be paid. They would get so much more money out of that from, mm -hmm. like, yeah. advertising. Because they'll be recommended. They're an official channel. And they're official They'd be more channel. likely to yeah. recommend it. I mm -hmm. mean, it, even if if it's not monetized, it'd be less. But yeah. Are you guys talking about like, like, I just think, like, own? Yeah. yeah. Like, okay. I mean, they used to do that. They used to do community spotlights. But, like, it was kind of, like, one thing or two things, I it's think. It's, like, like, artwork and so, which is good. Like yeah, just take the format It's, like, well, the thing was, for me, yeah. okay, like, for the whole defending the service thing, like, I can't make most people's stream times, especially with me streaming. So, like, I have no idea what's going on with Sick Nerd, Skiddler, all these yeah, people that yeah, I like watching. Yeah. So He doesn't either. He just used top If clips. they're all in one place, <laughs> it'd be so nice. Yeah, yeah. 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 Like, Exactly. Well, they 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 go go not like their content, the games, but like, they don't have YouTube and stuff. What about yeah. this for a plot twist, boys? What if RuneScape Moments was me the entire time, hence the moving out? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Is that mattress just money right there? Yeah, you can buy uh, your own house, money, right? It's filled with fucking money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, that, I think that service is invaluable, for sure. So you like, message yourself? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I fabricated this whole thing. Man, I'm, I'm also a psychopath, dude. <laughs> <laughs> had to be done. It had the Rakesy tapes, dude. The Rakesy tapes. I'm down. Yo, I'm all <laughs> gonna make a video on this. Just saying. <laughs> Anyways, lads, should we wrap it up? I don't know how yeah. long you guys have been going. Yeah, it's been. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you, it's like an hour, an hour, hour twenty. 20. Yeah. Beautiful. Yep. All right, Nublet. Where can people find you, mate? What are your social medias? Uh, twitchtv slash Nublet and uh, youtubecom slash Fat Nublet. Fat Nublet. Uh, hey, I like I stream almost. I stream almost every day. Ooh, Going wonderful. on a trip tomorrow, well, but yeah. We'll drop it down in the description, dude, so we'll sort you out with that, mate. Thank you yeah. very much for coming on. I'm sorry, I didn't really get to yeah. like meet you or know you very well, so hopefully we'll sorry, get to have you sorry. on again at some point. Yeah, I'd be fine. But yeah. Fine mm -hmm. This is fun. It was, yeah, it was thanks fun, for joining remember, us today. 40 bucks for a premium Snapchat, you get all this, all right? Down Please below. subscribe Down to below. channels so you get weekly <laughs> updates. <laughs> Make I'm our dreams come true. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Bye bye.